Here's my route this morning. <laughs> Just gonna be a short run. Short one to Tim Hortons this year. That's the Sky Train. Yesterday morning, I had, what was it, an egg, egg wrap at Starbucks, which was $3.74. So today I thought I'd get one from Tim Hortons and compare them. Although the one at Starbucks was an egg white one where Tim Hortons isn't. And uh, Tim Hortons is cheaper so far. The package it came in, it feels about the same size as uh, the one from uh, Starbucks. So hopefully, well, it should be cooled down by the time I get back, unless I eat it before that, but then that'll just slow my pace down. So I got coffee. Yeah, I really don't like Starbucks coffee that much. I like Tim Hortons better. I don't know why, I just do. Maybe, maybe it's because the Starbucks coffee is too strong for me, maybe. I don't know, some people say Tim Horton's coffee is too strong, so whatever. Um, so yesterday we went to Gastown in Vancouver. Meh, it was okay. Nice buildings, nice decor. You know, I, we went into one gift shop. I'm not into souvenirs and stuff like that. Kids don't appreciate that anyways. Um, so we just walked through there. <laughs> We're done pretty fast, actually. And uh, we got to this one part where it looked like it was like a garage sale or yard sale of some kind. Oh my gosh, my husband could not walk fast enough for me to get out of there. He just kept lingering around, looking, making comments. I'm just like, shut the hell up. Let's get out of here. It's like a hobo yard sale or something like that. I was not comfortable. So after that, we tried finding, we walked a bit, tried finding Stanley Park. It took us forever to get there. And one woman said we are gonna ask the bus driver what bus to, to take to get there because our ticket was still good she's like oh it's only a couple blocks away yeah it was a little more than a couple so we walked for a little bit along the seawall got to see some sea lions that was pretty cool I couldn't change the lens on my camera fast enough to uh, get a close-up of them because then they swam away so we ended up renting bikes and riding around Stanley Park. That was nice. There was a few times I wanted to stop, but my husband was too far ahead. And I'm like, oh, well, well, he didn't hear me. He didn't hear me say stop. So, but anyways, today is a walk around the golf course. I figure... I'll go with him today on his practice round instead of going when he's actually playing. Well, he's playing, but I won't go when it counts. I'll go during his practice round and I'll find myself something to do for the next two days. So, big day of walking ahead. Bye. So here it is, the best hole on the golf course. This is so far, this is hole 16, and it's pretty much the best view on the golf course. So from 1 to 16, that long to see something like this. What a waste of a day. Now this is really nice though. 
So this is my dinner companion tonight. That bottle and that book. I was supposed to go to dinner at the golf course with my husband, but... So I was supposed to go to dinner with my husband at the golf course, but it turns out he had to pay for me, which was $55, so I told him no, I'm not going to eat $55 worth of food. So I'm here eating by myself, and so I ordered a salad, and... So this is why I don't order salads at restaurants. Can you see that? There's nothing to it. I mean, that's not even a whole head of romaine lettuce. And there's like three pieces of red pepper in it. Tiny, tiny bit of onion. And maybe two pieces of tomato. That's why I don't order a salad at restaurant. $10.99 for this and there's like, there's nothing to it. That's disappointing. Well, what a disappointment that was. So, this food court, what they call a food court, had like five places and two of them were juice places. What kind of food court is that? And if you're a restaurant and you're going to have a salad, like, make it a decent salad. There was, like, nothing on it. What a freaking disappointment that was. Okay, so here is the view from our hotel room. There's the sun. Ooh, too bright. There's the other part of the hotel. Mountains in between. More hotel across the way. And mountains over there. And the bridge. So, yeah. At least we have a good view of, of uh, some of Vancouver. You know what sucks about hotel rooms? It's nice that we have a fridge so we can put stuff in it. What sucks is how all f hotel room fridges freeze things. Freeze salads, my, put my yogurt in there, froze my yogurt. Um, well, the funny thing is it didn't freeze the water that we had in there. So it freezes everything else but water. Like, I don't get it. So I think I'm going to move everything to the top shelf and then see what happens from there. So that's it for the day for me, I guess. I don't... We get HGTV in here and I don't get that at home. So I'm going to sit back and watch some HGTV, I guess. I don't gamble. And the casino's across the way, but I just feel it's a waste of money. So... I'm just going to watch HGTV, I guess, and see when my husband gets back. Bye. Okay, I forgot. I was supposed to compare the Tim Hortons egg wrap and the Starbucks one. Um, Starbucks is way better. There were, uh, both of them needed more eggs as far as I'm concerned, but the Starbucks one had more flavor. There was feta cheese in it, spinach, which is good. And I think it had very, very, very little tomato pesto. I th we think that's what it was. The uh, Tim Hortons one, I had, it's egg, you can have your choice of bacon, ham, and there was one more thing that you could choose, and I asked the girl what else was in it, and she said there was cheese, and there, some kind of sauce. So I said, I don't want the cheese, and I don't want the sauce. And... Um, yeah, I like the Starbucks one better. It's still, still not worth three seventy five to me, but it was better. I don't get how people can go out and eat breakfast all the time. I mean, I prefer my food at home. Um, I can make this big, huge omelet in the morning, and it's better for me, and less calories than if I were to go out and buy it and if you make those egg muffins and it's ready you just have to warm it up I just don't get it and that's why I don't maybe that's why I don't go for breakfast I don't go for lunch I rarely go out for dinner I just am obviously like I said earlier um, I'm disappointed most of the time um, like I said that's why I don't order salads I can make um, like 
at home we get romaine lettuce for <sighs> cheapest is I've seen is 80 cents. 80 cents for a head of romaine lettuce. And that could last me for three lunches. So I don't understand why people go out to eat all the time. So anyways, there's my review on those two egg things. I forgot about that, so I'm out now.